In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your nickel normal man coverage, really any man coverage for that matter, to the next level in Madden 23. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free to subscribe to the channel. And uh, we are in the Kansas City Chiefs uh, defensive playbook to break this down. I'm going to be showing you kind of a cool little feature that is in Madden uh, that you can do to make, like I said, really any coverage in the game better or any man defense better. And what we're going to do is this. So um, typically the nickel over meta right now is to come out in the play over Storm Brave. We're going to pinch our defense and then we're going to bring this guy down and try to basically use her the running back if he goes out on a route. And as you can see there, we're going to be able to get double edge pressure. However, the main problem with this defense is if the opponent is, is at, at all effective, um, a couple of things that you're going to see is if they know what they're doing, they're going to hit you with a C route to the outside so you'll see on this example here i'm going to put a c route out here and then we're going to block uh some players and maybe do something uh like this but what you should see here is a c route a lot of times will get open against man coverage uh specifically man coverage uh and i'll show you this real quick here so i'm going to use keenan allen as kind of the example so i'm going to motion him across put him on a c route obviously you're standing down here kind of hovering um, you know, to try to help, you know, attack them with pressure. And then maybe you do some kind of route combination like this out of U trips. And what you'll see is if I have a good receiver, I can throw this C route against man to man and it's pretty good. The reasoning why this is the case is because shading and Madden is actually really, really important within your main coverage. However, um, there is kind of a clear tell, uh, to this. So for example, if you look to the outside receiver, uh, if I shade to the outside, you see how all of my cornerbacks move. Well, if I am the offensive player and I have, um, you know, outside apprentice or whatever, you know, now what I can do is I can just put that guy, see, oh, he shaded outside, right? So now I could just put him on a skinny post and have a pretty good chance at being able to beat this coverage, right? If we did something uh, something like this, try to give me, give myself just enough time to get this off, you know, but these in-breaking routes, you know, now, because if they're shading outside, you know, now I can hit my posts over the middle, okay? Another example is if you take a look here at my play art, uh, I'm gonna show you something else. So if I put the outside corner on the right in an outside third, you're going to see that he a lot of times uh, will move. This is probably because I'm not on a hash so let me show it to you here. Uh, but a lot of times if you put the outside cornerback in a zone, he will move to the outside a little bit. So again, yet another kind of key tell. And, you know, we could put this guy on a skinny post and try to be able to, you know, beat that coverage over the middle of the field. And obviously, we got to do some things to get that safety out of the way. But, you know, you see the idea. So we want to be able to have outside leverage, but we don't have to, sh we don't want to have to shade to the outside. And really this is e better even for another reason altogether, which we're going to get into in just a second, but the play is cover one hole. So out of cover one hole and nickel over, you still have the ability to pinch your defense, globally blitz your linebacker straight down. And then you're going to notice that naturally I'm going to want to use her this safety, just like I was using the last guy. However, now what you should see a lot of times is even if I have a C route on the outside, I don't have to shade my coverage to get them to play outside leverage. Now, this doesn't work every time against C routes, um, just universally, but what you will see is a lot of times, that time he still beat me, but a lot of times um, the cover one hole has a natural outside shade because of the, of the type of coverage that this is. Man coverage in general in Madden 23 has these kind of built-in shades based on the leverage. Let me give you another, uh, let me show you this again with cover one hole. This time we're going to use, um, you know, a, like a corner route, uh, like a little corner route or something on a motion across. So you see here, we're just gonna use this motion across corner route. And now you see here outside leverage again and see how he drives on this a little bit better. You see that, okay? So he's able to drive on the route better if uh, you call cover one hole because cover one hole, if you look at this, it's a middle safety closed coverage. So naturally the holes in the coverage are going to be to the middle of the field, which is where the help is on this play. So you'll notice here on the right side, again, if you look over here, you should see that the C route is not really there um, in that example. And I'll show it to you again a couple times here with Keenan Allen. Um, left side C routes are obviously the best type of C route. But 
I will say I have a lot more success when I go to something like cover one hole. He might beat him here. And part of this is also because we're motioning him. But you see he's not getting like he's not getting absolutely like cooked as bad as he was prior to this. And another thing that you'll notice is if I do shade outside, the tell is definitely not as significant when I come out in the play. Um, so you can, you know, maybe kind of mix that in as well. You'll see here, here's the SI shade. Notice that my guy is at least underneath it. So when he tries to throw that back shoulder throw, I now have a player in the area uh, to be able to make this happen. So the beauty of this is that it allows you to kind of do a couple of things within one, and that is the ability you'll see here with Overstone Brain. Probably better to show with a corner route, since so it's a corner route. And what you'll see with this corner route to the right side is he is going to get open every single time against this. You'll see right here, he gets open on the outside every single time. Obviously, don't worry about the accuracy, because obviously I'm going to get shedded to death because um, practice mode, that's just how it works. But what you'll see in these cover zero coverages like this is this guy will almost always beat him to the outside because the natural leverage of a cover zero is to the inside of the field. So now we're going to go to cover one hole and a couple things. You're going to notice, number one, it has a better matchup because the safety is now guarding the tight end as opposed to a linebacker guarding the tight end. That's one of the main things I like about this. But the other thing you'll notice is that this corner route, now my player drives on that a lot better because he's got an outside leverage because of the way that the coverage works. Now, to finally illustrate this a little bit more um, is we're going to go to cover to man and kind of explain again the natural shades within these coverages. So if I come out and cover to man, cover to man, where's the help? You're going to notice that the help is over the top and to the outside. So the coverage is naturally going to shade inside and underneath and basically play trail. So if I wanted to beat cover to man, I don't want to try to attack to the outside. I want to try to attack to or to the inside. I want to try to throw the outside. But you see, again, there's that underneath shade that is so powerful. However, if we take the safeties out of the picture and they don't have help anymore over the top, generally speaking this year, you know, you can kind of hit this. You can kind of hit that fade route a lot of times. Um, you can also hit these C routes uh, against against that cover two style coverage. So you'll see here again, here's the C route, but notice that out underneath leverage. So I can kind of throw this over the top and have a chance at being able to get the ball over the top of the defense. Cover two man, if you aren't careful, will get you burned, especially if you are, um, you know, again, you know, not having, you know, not having help from your safety. So the purpose of that is to just explain how these coverages work. Again, here's a motion over C route. And what you're gonna notice here is, again, this is cover two man, so he's naturally shaded underneath. So as soon as my guy gets over the top, you see over there on that sideline that he's standing wide open, okay? Um, so that's the reality with these coverages. So every coverage has a natural shade, and I'm not shading inside. So you'll see here, even when I shade inside, there's no real clear cut like he shaded inside because the coverage is already dictated that way. But if I audible to cover one, I want you to watch, you'll see when I press, you'll notice something. They're way more outside than they are inside. So I have to naturally shade them how I want them to play. So if I want them to play inside, I'm going to shade inside, but there's that tell to it. Um, so another you know real valuable reason to utilize the cover one. Last thing I want to say about cover one hole as far as like why I like this specific coverage a lot is because in cover one hole, you're going to notice that when we do our, you know, defense like this, this backside safety is going to help us on the trip side. It's going to leave a linebacker here on the running back. And then it's also going to leave this three receiver hook in the middle, which is really good for defending the middle of the field. So now we're kind of funneling everything back into our user with the natural shades of the coverage. And we also have a lot of help. Um, you know, within the coverage as well. So if you want to play better coverage against C routes, some of the things that people are going to naturally throw outside breaking patterns, try out cover one hole. There's no telling it. You can actually get better pressure out of cover one hole than Overstone Brave. And then you can use Overstone Brave if they're consistently hitting you with inside breaking patterns. Because again, you want to learn the natural shades of the man coverages and it will help you significantly when playing them. Um, guys, if you want to learn my entire nickel over defensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. We're dropping uh, a defensive ebook, another additional one, um, in there tomorrow as well. So make sure you're in the Patreon so you get access to all the material. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.